Hello and welcome to this latest video, another one in my lengthy series of decorating platter rims. This time I use the Proxon long neck grinder to put a texture across most of the rim. Quite a lot of tear out to begin with which looks like it's going to be a rather messy job but a bit of burnishing with some uh, of the shavings and then a rotary rasp, it's a nylon coated brush with some abrasive in and then I used a point tool just to define the edges of the texture. The point tool is just a little bit of 6mm high speed steel that I ground a point on, a three sided point. Um, and then a bit of sanding through from about 240 grit down to 400. Um, and then good clean up, get all the dust out of uh, the texture before I start airbrushing. And I seem to have a taste at the moment for the sort of tiger colours, reds, oranges. Start off with a random spraying of yellow followed by some orange, um, filling in the gaps between them and then some areas of red um, that will come on and again it's just sort of roughly covering the area. I don't want anything looking too uniform or too symmetrical. And then putting a bit of work on the rim. Uh, it took a little while to decide what I was going to do with the rim. I did go with a solid orange or red colour, but it didn't really work for me. So in the end, I went with a black stain. With hindsight, it might have been better to do it with black acrylic paint to match the dry brushing um, over the texture on the rim. But I think it works quite nicely. Um, dry brushing if you haven't done it before just involves a very small amount of paint in this case on a foam brush and I just very very lightly drag it across the surface and as you can see it just picks up the high points um, and brings some nice variety and variation into the texture um, that's uh, just a acrylic paint that's going on if you look closely at the, at the rim you can see where the acrylic doesn't quite match the black of the spirit stain but I don't think it matters too much. Middle is just sealed with a bit of sanding sealer just to help make a neat final cut. Uh, going in there with my 3 8 bowl gouge then sanding not showing you all the grits there are four or five grits I use I don't get a perfect finish the first grit as the video might suggest and then a bit of sanding sealer to finish off and again cleaning all the dust off and it does get sealed then with some acrylic lacquer and then here are some close-ups showing the detail of the texture and the variety of the colour um, the close-ups I think always give a better picture than my webcams do in the workshop and here we have it finished tiger texture platter thanks for watching